I just got a delivery from the boys over at DHL. This is a package from Team Canada. So we've got the trusty bat knife. Let's get this thing open. I'll show you guys what we've got. You know, it's pretty amazing to see how many people are just making cool stuff these days. And so this came from what's called Betts Technic. That's B-E-T-Z, Technic Industries. A guy named Peter Betts makes this. I'm gonna show you guys what this is. It's called AccuBlast. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it is. Looks like there's some, some wiring here. Well, I guess we'll just do this one step at a time. So here we've got the first portion. This is a little control box. And we're gonna get this thing out of the cellophane so that you guys can see it. I might have to fast forward through some of this, but we'll get it, we'll get it done well. I saw this a long time ago. I saw that Peter had made these a long time ago, and I really wanted one, but I really wasn't sure. At the time, my Super Mini Mill was still under warranty, and I really wasn't in a position where I really wanted to I really didn't want to start messing with the warranty and stuff like that at the time. So I didn't. And now that it's out of warranty, if something goes wrong, it's completely on me. And I'm cool with that. I can live with that. So this is a little control box. And Peter, for the love of God, don't use this saran wrap. Just use some bubble wrap. It's all good, dude. Oh, man, this thing is beautiful. Look at this thing. So from what I understand, get rid of that. So from what I understand, this, these are magnets in the back. And so you can just kind of magnet this thing wherever you want. I don't have a piece of steel to show you guys, but that's what it is. And so you can see it's got this little dial right here, a back button, A and RST, beautiful blue aluminum anodized end caps. And then here's where all the connections go. And so the idea is that you just take this thing and you just kind of magnet this right into a place that's convenient for you to use on your CNC machine. So we'll just set this right here so that at least the camera can see it. Now here's a bunch of wiring. And I ended up asking Peter to buy this. Uh, normally you get this separately. This is like the, the, power, uh, the power supply and it's relatively inexpensive, but Peter went ahead and, uh, and bought this and included it and wired it up for me. So Peter, thank you very much. By the way, um, I'll tell you guys all about the pricing and stuff once we get to the end. Here, uh, here we've actually got some nozzles. So I can barely see, but let's see if we get these out of here. So here's one. This system, you're gonna see here in just a little bit. You can get, uh, is this thing gonna focus? Come on, focus for everybody. So these things are pretty nice, they're machined. These are Turret Jet QPM, so I guess that's a specific brand that I'm not aware of. And then here's the unit itself. The box is now empty. Here's the unit itself. And this is something that Peter designed. I mean, he, from, from inception to execution, this is all him. And this is what I thought was pretty cool. There are a couple of other companies that make these and we're gonna talk about them. Um, but here's the unit itself. And so we'll get rid of the bubble wrap. And again, you know, I'm not a fan of saran wrap, but I, when something's this pretty, I at least can understand why you would do it this way. So let's see if we can get this thing out of here so you guys can take a quick peek at it. Ah, I found the end this time, so that worked out well. And so the way this works, just like, just like this, how this had magnets in the back, this AccuBlast setup, that's magnetic as well. And so if you want to just magnet this up to the side or the head of your machine, you can. And then these turrets, they just thread in right here. And so we'll just do, we'll just do it lightly. Just, just for, so you guys can see, we're gonna put this one up, we're gonna straighten this one out. That way it, it's not in the way, so let's see here. And so really what this is, for all you CNC nerds that are out there like me, this is basically a competitor to something like the Haas P-Cool system. And so you can, you can set this so that it will blast not only at the appropriate length of tool that you have coming in the tool changer for your CNC machine, 
You can set this to where it kind of does one of these things here, where it kind of like oscillates to clear chips. And, um, and it also, and the, 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 really re the reason I chose this, outside of the fact that it's really one of the most cost-effective options, I think this was, I'd have, well, let me see, is my invoice in the box? I'll tell you guys if my invoice is in the box. This is a packing slip, but there's no pricing on it. Okay, so we'll put that one aside. Yeah, it looks like this is uh, subtotal, 640 bucks Canadian. So, um, yeah, it's got some instructions here. And what's going on right now is Peter's actually in the process of working with, well, I don't want to say too much, but he's got some pretty big things going on for this. And here's the challenge. This thing was like 650 bucks Canadian. So I don't know. I think they worked up to 400. And ch I can't remember. I thought it was four or 500 bucks uh, American. I bought this for a few weeks ago, so forgive me. Um, I, I don't really remember exactly what this was in US dollars, but you guys can do the conversion. But there's only a couple of options if you want to run something like this. You can spend... I want to say the Haas P-Cool unit is about, oh, 1700 bucks. There's another company called Spider Cool that makes something very similar to this. And I want to say that their unit is about, I think they start at around 25 or 3500 bucks. And then uh, Peter, and, and then there's, there's obviously expansions, but Peter actually has a setup where you can buy just like pretty much what you see here, these three pieces, or you can spend a little bit more money. And I think you can get a secondary turret head so that you can actually run two of them. And I don't know, I, that, that may require a, a different box. I wanted this specifically because I stole the coolant ring off the super mini mill because I was running it as an air, a dedicated air blast ring on the VF2. And I find myself doing a lot of small projects. If you're doing huge levels of production, then there are things that you can, can, there's chip fans, there's all kinds of different ways to clear chips. But I wanted this as much, I, the number one feature that I wanted is I wanted to be able to just go ahead and turn this dial when I'm standing in front of the machine. Because if I'm doing, you know, two or three parts, I, I want to be able to just control that coolant flow. I want to be able to control the coolant flow for a few reasons. I want to be able to control the coolant flow, not only so that I'm applying coolant at the cutting edge, but I also want to be able to control the coolant flow to kind of like flush chips away at random, like kind of manually without having to reach in. Every time I have to swipe that door open and then reach in there and adjust one of those nozzles, it's number one, it's wasting time. And number two, then I'm wasting paper towels and cleaning up. And it's just, a, honestly, it's just a pain in the ass. And so I just thought one of these systems would be good. Now you'd ask, why wouldn't you go by the Haas system? It, it integrates directly into your machine. Well, here's the thing. Very shortly, this is also going to integrate into nearly any machine. Number one, there's a variety of ways that this can be done over Ethernet, D-Print, things like this. Um, but the main reason I chose this is because, number one, I really respect what Peter has done in designing and creating and bringing this to market. It was priced extremely competitively. And last but not least, when I switch away from Haas Mills here in the future, this is not part of the Haas ecosystem. I don't want to buy into any specific ecosystem that I don't know I'm going to be involved in for a very long time. So anyways, I just wanted to unbox this for you guys and show you guys what it was all about. It's got the uh, instructions right here and I'm just going to flip through these real quick just so you can kind of see. If you have a mill, whether it's a Tormach or a Haas or whatever, and you want to get one of these, Peter's a super nice guy. He's clearly uh, engineered a very trick, high quality, very nice looking, very effective setup here. And, uh, and I would encourage you at least to go check it out. You know, obviously you gotta, you gotta do what's right for you and your situation. But again, I paid for this, this was not given to me. I just saw a cool item made by somebody and I decided I would spend the money and give it a try. And so this video, we unboxed it. I showed you guys what you get. In the next video on this product, I'm gonna go ahead and either just magnet this sucker up and get it going, or maybe we'll uh, fabricate a, a nice mount and then use these mounting holes and mount it right to the super mini mill in a very specific way. So all right, that's it guys. Just wanted to 
show you, show you what we got going on and we'll see you in the next. Oh yeah, by the way, I almost totally forgot. Thanks to all my patrons. The truth is, if you're watching this video, the reason you're probably watching it, or the reason, at least the reason that I made it, is because of the support of my patrons. Not only the financial support, but just knowing that there are people out there that value my content enough to be willing to spend a couple of bucks a month, it means a lot to me. And so uh, keeps me fired up, keeps me motivated. And uh, I just wanna say thanks. So if you're one of my patrons, thanks a tremendous amount. If you guys ever need me, you can message me directly through Patreon and I'll respond back just as fast as I can. All right, that's it guys, thanks. Talk to you guys later, bye-bye.